Welcome back to Mock the Mock, where we take a look at someone else's mock draft. And I'm Mocky, giving you my views, thoughts, and opinions. We got a four-rounder today. Holy moly, that's going to be a ton of fun. It's by NFL Network's uh, Chad Redder. He's been covering the draft for the last 20 years, whether it's with NFL.com or with CBS. But four rounds, that's a lot. We're going to have to get into this sucker real quick because I'm not trying to have an hour-and-a-half long video. But what's crack a lacking? It's your boy Baroshmo, just in case you did not know. So go ahead, become a bro, and subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. As always, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's go ahead. Let's dive in. Let's check out this first round. As I imagine, Aiden Hutchinson will be the number one pick here. There it is. Aiden Hutchinson going to the Jags. Makes a ton of sense. If you're doing a predictive mock draft, I can't see you going another route. Uh, Malik Willis going to the Detroit Lions. Listen, him and Kyle Hamilton are the current betting odd favorites to be the number two pick. So I like the idea of like experimenting, seeing what happens if Malik goes here. Because it kind of changes things for like a team like, I guess, Carolina. But they're more connected to Kenny Pickett anyway. And then we got, oh my gosh, we got a trade next. The Atlanta Falcons trade up to take Kenny Pickett. That's Freaking wild. Golly gee. So they're trading up using a first as well. Like they're swapping first as well as giving a first next year. Second and fourth. Wow, that's freaking. I don't know about that sucker. Uh, the New York Jets, Trevon Walker. Uh, we know this cat's uh, the hot hot riser in terms of um immersion to the top 10 i said it before uh the draft when i thought he might come back or before the end of the season before uh initially decided to declare i was like man if this guy comes out in 2023 he's a top 10 pick you know but at this point he feels like more of a project guy that he's a little bit more polished to this game but after the combine i mean there's no doubt in that physically he's got the tools so yeah, if he goes high, I'm... What's new? <laughs> uh, the Giants, they go with Evan Neal. So, yeah. That, I mean, if you're in New York, you better go OT. And then the Panthers take Matt Corral. Flip. Uh, they were talking to... Cor they were actually pretty darn interested in Matt Corral uh, at his pro day. They were... Seems like they couldn't schedule an actual meeting, uh, but he was on the. Um, they were him and I think it was Fitter and Rule that, that were on the sideline talking to him. So interesting. Interesting. And then the New York Giants take Kyle Hamilton. I like this. Best player on your board. Go ahead and take him. You could also make a case for uh, uh, Edge or Corner. And then the Houston, this is a Houston, Texas pick now. They go KT, dude. Being able to trade back, get another first in next year, and then also pad your, yourself with a second and a fourth, that's wild, dude. So they go KT. And then Aki, Akem, McWanu falling here to the Seahawks. If you're the Seahawks, you're just drafting good players. And then the Eagles trade up. Where it is, the Eagles, they're trying to acquire a pick next year. Uh, with one of their one of their picks this year that they're not going to be content staying with where they're at, which is fair. But they trade up for Jordan Davis in this scenario. So all right, Philadelphia Eagles, they trade up. Uh, do we talk about trade capital? We do not. Okay, interesting. Drake London, first receiver off the board, going to the Commanders. Not going to dispute that one. Get scary Terry, another receiver there. Uh, we got another trade up. The Steelers trade up with the Vikings. They grab Desmond Ritter. So we got four quarterbacks off the board by pick 12. That's nuts. Uh, so Texans, because this is their next pick coming up. They grabbed KT, and now they're going with Derek Stanley. Just a couple of high upside defenders. Don't mind that. And then we got another trade up. Wow, dude. That This is, this is ridiculous. So we got the Titans trained up for Sam Howe, which I ain't going to hate, man. That's my boy Sam Howe. I like it. Uh, 
Did we talk about trade capital? Uh, uh, therefore, be surprised if they give up a first round pick to grab the next team starter. Okay. I guess regardless. Uh, so this was a Jets trade back. Sauce falls to 15 since we had five quarterbacks off the board by pick 14. Absolutely wild. Uh, this is uh, next pick's actual the actual Eagles pick. No, this one's from Indy, but they go Jermaine Johnson. They get a pass rush pair up with Jordan Davis, so that's pretty lit. It's pretty good. Uh, Chargers take Devontae Wyatt. Charles Cross still on the board, by the way. I don't think they're that thirsty to stop the run game that they pass on Charles Cross. Charles Cross top ten in my opinion. But, hey, the Saints, they ended up uh, rocking Charles Cross here at number 18 to be the replacement for Armstead, who's now with the Dolphins. Fins up, baby. Fins up. Garrett Wilson gets snagged by the Eagles here at 19. They go receiver. I don't mind it one whatsoever. Uh, wow, man. Vikings. So their trade down, they ended up going with Devin Lloyd. That's pretty nice. Um, they did bring in Jordan Hicks. Who I think will probably be a more actual replacement for Anthony Barr. But I guess if you're thinking long term, like, yeah, Devin Lloyd, you could definitely go with him here. Kansas City Chiefs trade up to get Jameson Williams. I've kind of talked about this. Like, uh, if the Chiefs, if they want to make a move up, it's probably for Jameson Williams. Big fan of Jameson Williams. Uh, word is that they're really, they're eyeing Sky more if the top five receivers are off the board with that next pick so yeah the green bay packers go trevor pennant so i guess uh yeah why not grab protection get someone there at right tackle you can move jenkins back inside and then hopefully what we get you still have chris olave and Traylon burks still on the board so hopefully he makes it to the 28 pick uh zion johnson going to the arizona cardinals here pretty good you could fill in on one of the guard spots uh if they're not confident in josh jones or uh justin pew who's another guy who's kind of old uh dallas cowboys go to kobe dean they did bring back vander etch but keanu neal sounds like he's moving back to safety so grabbing more linebacker help ain't a bad all right buffalo bills take trent mick Duffy, man. I think he'd be really good for the system. He's a real good athlete. And then the Baltimore Ravens, they traded down and they snagged Tyler Linderbaum. Uh, they do have a need at center, so why not? Uh, the Jets projected trade with the Bucks. So this is a trade up. They, they trade up to grab Chris Olave to be uh, to pair him up with Elijah Moore and Corey Davis. Excuse me, Corey Davis there. So it only cost him a fourth rounder to move up. I like that. And then Traylon Burks does, in fact, make it to pick 28. Good for you, Packers. And then the Patriots, they traded down. They're snagging Daxton Hill, so I guess he's their McCourty replacement once he moves on. I imagine. All right. George Karloftis making it to the Chiefs. Pretty darn solid. Another guy that's kind of hard to project. Uh, Andrew Booth going here at 31. Hey, man. Yeah, apparently he's dealing with a core issue, which kind of sucks. We saw a core issue uh, or abdominal issue really, really stunt uh, Jeffrey Okuda's first year in the league. So Booth hopefully recovers well from that, but unable to participate in the combine of the pro ball because of it. Uh, did I say pro ball? Pro day. But uh, yeah, dude, uh, Bengals, they've addressed the line pretty darn well. Go ahead and get yourself some corners. And then Detroit, Boye Mafe. Yeah, this dude was stud. He's going to be a hot riser. So I guess we're on to the second round, man. Very, very interesting first round. Let's see how the second one pans out. Roger McCreary to the Jags. That's all. That's nice. That's fine. I mean, they just added 
Uh, Daria, uh, what was it? Darius Williams? So, I, I mean, I guess that doesn't mean they're out of the corner. Like, they, they could still go corner high if they think the value's there. George Pickens going to Detroit. Uh, Tampa Bay has the next pick. I do like I do like the Pickens pick. Um, Arnold Ebiketti. So, yeah, what? J, I don't know if JPP is returning. So, this might be pretty solid. Uh, the Giants go Drake Jackson. Here it is. Uh, again, they do need edge help. The Texans go Kenyon Green. So, pretty solid. Uh, they, they, they need help on that offensive line. So maybe grabbing your, your right tackle, right guard of the future there. Brees Hall going to pair the, uh, Jets are going to be pairing him up with, uh, Michael Carter. That's going to be deadly. The bears go Lewis, uh, Lewis scene. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, uh, Added someone with Eddie Gibson, any bad option there. I mean, this is honestly just like best available at this point. And then the Seahawks, look at both their picks. Kyler Gordon and then Quay Walker. So grabbing corner help, yes. Quay Walker, solid linebacker, probably start immediately. Uh, we got Bernhard Ryman going to the Colts to be the Eric Fisher replacement. Houston Texans take Kenneth Walker. Look at that. Cam Jurgens. They get their replacement for JC Treader. And then David Ajabo, second round, man. Ooh. That's a solid pickup. Uh, Vikings take Greg Dolchich. They got Irv. Ir, uh, Irv Smith. They did lose Tyler Coughlin. But I don't know. This is a bit rich for me, especially like. I, for Dolchage, I would say maybe more in the third round area, but like McBride, man, not the first time off the board. That's surprising. The commanders go Jaquan Brisker, get a solid linebacker there. Maybe see more split highs. Uh, Abraham Lucas is a good pickup for the Bears. He can go play their right tackle. Sounds like they might be moving Borum into right guard. Uh, Jahan Dotson being the competent number two there for Michael uh, Thomas. I like that. Tariq Wolin, good scheme fit for the Chiefs. Have him be like a press man or a press like uh, cover three guy. Uh, Christian Harris come in too. The Eagles, that's pretty solid. He can come in and eventually be. Uh, I mean, they can play him actually a week because they got TJ Edwards. Christian Watson going to the Steelers. Steelers do love them a day two receiver. Sky Moore going to the Packers, so they're going to pair him up with Traylon Burks. Leo Chano, I like this pick for the Patriots. And then we got Kyer Elam to the Cardinals. That's pretty solid. Uh, Josh Ezadu, this, or yeah, probably mispronouncing the name. This is very rich for him. I'm just going to say that. Very rich. I think I got more of a mid to late day three grade on him. So, uh, Tyler Smith, especially over Tyler Smith. Going to the Bills, that's a good pickup, Bills. Travis Jones, Atlanta plans to pair him up with a uh, great Jarrett. Then we see Tyreek Castro Fields going to the Packers here. Because I, I guess they, I guess hey, listen, quarterback depth's never a bad thing. Tampa Bay, they go Perry on Winfrey. I guess this is more of the Sioux replacement here. Cameron Thomas going to the Niners because they love pass rush. Uh, James Cook, I mean Rojo just signed with the Chiefs, so I don't know how likely they are gonna go with a running back this early. And then Jelani Woods, my boy, going to the Bengals. Uh, they do have to, rep they, I mean, they got Drew Sample. I mean, I, I, I ain't stopping me from drafting a tight end, you know, but, uh, they do got to replace, uh, Uzuma. And then the Broncos go Darion Kennard. Dude, that second round, for all intents and purposes, holy crap. Like, Cam Jurgen, I like Jurgen's. I didn't know, like, I, I didn't know people saw him this high. Great Dolchich, I thought was high. Uh, we still got, like, uh, I already talked about uh, Josh 
Zendu. Uh, Castro Fields? I mean, again, I, I think there's a fall off. I don't think there's really a second round corner in this class. Like, I mean, you can make a case for Tyreek Wolin. He's a bit more of a project. Uh, like Martin Emerson, Kyler Gordon, I think our guys are like more midday too, which may be going at the back end. But yeah, the tight ends went off the board. Like that was an interesting second round. Let's take a look at this third. All right, we got John Mechie going to the Jags. That's pretty solid. Uh, Jalen Pintry going to the Detroit Lions. Uh, here's Mar hey, Trey McBride finally coming off the board to the Giants. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Calvin Austin coming in to be that gadget player for the Texans. Chad Muma to the Jets. Pretty good. Sean Ryan is a really good addition here for the Jags. Uh, there's David Bell going to the Bears here. And Logan Hall. Going to the Seattle Seahawks, which they, they're probably going to more of a 3-4, so come in, be a 3-4 uh, end. And then Carson Strong to the Colts. So this is the heir apparent to Matt Ryan. All right. Uh, Nick Benito going to the Falcons. Pretty nice. Jalen Armour Davis. I still see him more as like a early to mid day three guy, but he's pretty good. He's a good technician. Uh, DeMarvin Leal going to the Ravens, man. That's a good fit. Good value at 76. Cam Taylor Britt. Vikings. You got to sure up those uh, corners. Uh, listen, I love Christopher Allen. I thought he was going to have a breakout year before he got hurt in the opener against Miami. I really did. I feel like this is high for him. I feel like this is too high for a guy that didn't have that breakout year. Coming off an injury. Uh, we got Daniel Falalele coming in to be a uh, developmental tackle. Verone uh, McKinley, this is a bit rich for him, in my opinion. Otito Ogabina uh, coming in to be the nose. I kind of like that. I mean, third round, though, feels a bit rich. This is rich. Charlie Collier. Dude, these tight ends are coming off the board way faster than they should. I'll just say that. Uh, the New York Jets go Marquise Hayes. That's a pretty solid pick there. Uh, Nick Cross going to the Steelers would be freaking phenomenal. I like that. Cole Strange feels like a Patriots pick. I like him about this range, though. Uh, Max Mitchell going to the Raiders here, so not half bad. Uh, it's kind of like a fringe, uh, fringe late day two, early day three guy. But uh, I guess he'd come in and play right tackle. Oh, D'Angelo Malone to the Cardinals here. Look at this. Back-to-back, -back, actually. Amari Barno. These are two guys I have rated very similar. I have them at the beginning of, like, the early day three grades on them just because they're they're literally designated pass rush only. I, like, we saw Malone at the Senior Bowl in coverage, and then Barno really did play a lot of coverage uh, at the Senior Bowl. So, like, I don't know. These are guys that, like, I guess here at the back end of the third, it's not too bad. Uh, Troy Anderson, though, is pretty darn good pickup here for the Buffalo Bills. You got our boy Chig. Uh, the Maryland tight end, who isn't really a tight end. He feels like just a big receiver, but he'd be an interesting guy. Uh, he, uh, 90 feels a bit rich, though. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. K Don, I'm telling you, tight ends are going off the board too fast. I don't see that happening. Uh, Kingsley and Nagbar Reef falling here all the way to 92 is pretty stellar for the Packers. Uh, Josh Thompson, this is a bit rich for me, but uh, uh, I like him better as a day three guy. But, eh, hey, love who you love. Uh, Wandale Robinson going to the Chiefs here. They get a nice little gadget player. Uh, we see Darian Beavers. Pretty, this is actually pretty really good. Uh, a pretty darn good pick for the Bengals here. And then Rashad White. I mean, hey, dude. Uh, what's his name? Uh, oh my goodness. I can't think. I can't think of his name. He was Denver's other back with Javante. Uh. 
Oh my goodness. Um, I'm a... Melvin Gordon. Golly gee, dude. I, I, I knew it was going to be a freaking head smack. Like, ugh. So, I think I hear it's likely Melvin Gordon comes back, though. Tight ends continue to fly off the board. Grant Calicatera. Personally, I... I, the concussions are a big issue for me with Grant Calicatera. I mean, so much so that the guy did retire. I don't know if he's technically draftable. In my, like, I wouldn't draft him just because of those concerns. But he he did have an oppressive season at SMU. Uh, the Saints take Zamir. Get some insurance with, uh, you know, all the legal issues with Kamara. Uh, Jalen Tolbert making it all the way here to 99. That's wild, but uh, that's good value for the Browns. MJ, Emerson, Martin Emerson. This is a great value for the Ravens. Jaden Tindall going to the Saints. Pretty darn good. Uh, hey, look, Dolphins, first pick. They get a center. I did the same thing in our Walk the Mock yesterday. Luke Fortner. Then Khalil Shakir is going to be a solid slot guy, I think, in the NFL. Uh, Dylan Parham, wow, dude. Tell me you're not high on Parham. You got him all the way here at 104. Holy moly. But, hey, making it to the Rams, that's a good pick. Though they did just re-sign Brian Allen, so I guess you're playing him at guard. Uh, Parham, that is. Uh, Marcus Jones coming here to the Niners. He's more of a slot return man though i think they did did the niners lose their slot is kwami uh or k1 did he return to no he's actually in denver so they're missing their slot altogether so okay that makes a ton of sense all right let's check out this fourth round Jacksonville Jaguars start out with Isaiah. Likely they get a nice little uh, tight end there. Uh, Josh Pascal going to the Texans. Pretty solid run defender. Uh, we got Rasheed Walker going to the Texans as a developmental tackle. Alex Wright. I like to see him getting more love because uh, he's been unable to participate in the pro day or, or at the combine. I don't know if it's because of injury, but I feel like it's kind of hurt his stock. Uh, Justin Moore would be a good pickup here for Baltimore at this range. Kobe Bryant, not a bad pickup here for the Jets either. Uh, Brian Awesome. Oh, wow. He has him going all the way to the fourth. Going to the Giants. That'd be a freaking stellar pick, though. Uh, Zion McCullen going to Washington here. Guy tested out very well. Fedarian Mathis going to, going to the Texans. He's going to be playing alongside... Uh, Guess whoever wants to play uh, Zero Tech there, uh, whether it's Ross Blacklock or uh, was it Roy Lopez. And look, we got tight ends. They just be flying off the board. Jack Ferguson. Hey, I know Richard like this. We got jo uh, Juanye Thomas. I got Thomas as a UDFA, but I could see him sneaking in the back end of the draft, but I think this is a bit too early. Pierre Strong's a phenomenal pickup here for the Buccaneers. Haskell Garrett going to the Browns. Pretty solid. A little interior help. There's Noah Ellis out of Idaho. Another big nose tackle guy. I like that. Uh, Dane Belton. Some people try to comp him to like Amari Hooker. I don't really see it. Uh, I re but I really liked Hooker um, in that draft class. But this would be a good pickup for the uh, Saints. You got Nicholas Petit Ferrer. Oh, man, he fell pretty hard here to Kansas City. That's a pretty solid pickup there. He could immediately contest for our, uh, for the right tackle spot. Uh, Velas Jones. He's I think he's more pro-ready than a lot of guys in this class, but he's also 25. Uh, fabulous return, man. Hey, first uh, special teams guy off the board. We got uh, the San Diego State punter going to the Chargers. Uh, Bailey Zappi going to the Eagles. Ah, I'm not too sure about that one. Like I feel like the Eagles. You're... Why? Why? Don't they still have uh, Gardner Minshew? 
Zinni still under contract? Uh, Dominic Robinson, kind of a project, but huge upside. I like it here. Skylar Thomas, I think, ends up playing tight end in, in the NFL. I'm just going to say that. Going to the Raiders here. Uh, Logan Bruss, uh, not bad, not bad. Fourth round feels feels a bit early for him, but... Oh, he's got him listed as a guard? I think he can play tackle. Uh, we got Carlin Barnes going to the Baltimore Ravens. The speedster, another guy I feel like this is a bit rich. Hey, guys, Alec Pierce fell real hard. Going to the Cowboys here. Uh, that'd be a great pickup. Uh, Jerome Ford, I like him going to the Bills. He's kind of like a Devin Singletary. So, uh, Brian Robinson going to the Titans, getting just more of the same there with uh, Derrick Henry. Brandon Smith's going to be a good uh, project linebacker there for the Packers. Jamari Sawyer, already, I think, a guy that could compete for uh, that left guard spot. Uh, you got Mark Marquise Bell, the, the um, Florida, excuse me, Florida A&M safety so i was going i was i was i wasn't stuttering i was like s like snake like the rattlers the florida a &M rattlers so pretty solid pickup here thomas booker dude guys had a really good pro day i thought he was pretty solid at the shrine bowl um he looked good at the combine like i've been impressed with him i thought he was kind of used used out of uh uh, I just think he was used incorrectly. Let's just say that at Stanford, this is this is a guy that he could. If you have him go one on one, he uh, he could be a monster. I don't know if that necessarily he'd be doing that for the Patriots though. Jason Hines, I got a late day three grade on him. So uh, Sam Williams, that's great value here for the Panthers. Jesse Laketa, it's an interesting pick here for the Steelers. Uh, the other North Carolina uh, offensive lineman here, Marcus McKeith, uh, McKeithen. Uh, I I really feel like all these North Carolina guys are like late day three guys. Uh, Zach Carter's pretty good pickup here for the Packers. Tyler Goodson, uh, I just think there's better backs in here. He feels more like a receiver than an actual running back, though. He'd be an interesting interesting guy to have on the squad uh damari mathis uh i really think a position change might be in his future uh he could stick it out at corner though my sanders though he fell all the way here to tennessee that's entirely possible uh i don't know what his exact pro day scores were on the uh drills but i would like to see that i know he came in much bigger though oh wow that's it holy moly we went through all of that there's a lot of guys let's see this is the nfl draft though there's going to be a lot of guys drafted in these four first four rounds that i'm like oh i thought he was a udfa Ugh. let me know what you think in the comment section below how do you think your team had did uh look at that i did this in less than 30 minutes is that pretty darn impressive and i and I mean, I think the commentary was like, you know, once you get to the third round, what can you really say? Like, what what am I gonna say about this? Isaiah Likely to the Jags. It's a good tight end two option they got there. Guy they could maybe slide into the slot. Not half bad. Tested slower than I expected. You know, I don't know why I try to sound like the Undertaker there, but that's it for the video. Go ahead and do that YouTube thing. As always, until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.